Hey guys, Aaron uh, for Automate All The Things. I know it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, hopefully the new format, uh, the new website will be worth the wait. Um, so let's jump into today's automation. I'm gonna be showing you how to save and manage content uh, from the web, from mobile, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, um, into a central repository where you can organize and consume your content as you want. Uh, so we're going to be using Pocket, Trello, and Xavier to do that. I've been personally using this automation for a couple of weeks now, mainly because I found myself skimming through articles too often. And this allows me to save the articles I care about and then get back to them when I want to. Um, so imagine you're uh, reading this article or it's been shared to you through Facebook and Twitter and you want to keep it for another moment. Uh, what you can do is just um, save it through Pocket and this will automatically add it to a Trello board. I'll show you in a minute. You can do the same thing on Twitter by just holding down an article that you're interested in and then saving to Pocket. Um, what the automation does is that it sends all of the articles that you pocket or that you save into this inbox uh, on inbox list on Trello. And then when you have a little bit of time, you can organize it, you can go through the articles however you want. So for each card, you'll notice that the title of the article is the title of the card. And in the description, uh, we put in a URL and a brief description of that article. So how does this automation work? Um, so let's go to Zapier. Just as a reminder of what Zapier does, uh, Zapier will send information uh, whenever something happens in one application and send that information somewhere else. So it takes a trigger action uh, and then sends that information from that trigger to a third party. In this case, the trigger will be Pocket. It'll take that article's information and create a Trello card with the information that Pocket has shared with it. So the trigger is pocket every time there's a new item that will trigger this automation. So let's just pull in um, the article I just shared, which was a New York Times article. I'm going to view it. And you can see it's the New York Times. It talks about the Trump and Justin Trudeau summit. And so what we want to do with this article, we want to create a card. So we're going to go to Trello and our action is going to be create a card. Um, and what does that card look like? Well, it's relatively simple. It's going to ask you which board do you want to create that card in? So it's my to read and watch board. On which list do you want me to create that card? So I want it on the leftmost column, which is my inbox. And then it'll ask me what title should I give that that card or what name I take from step one the resolve title which pocket gives me and then same thing in the description I take the URL as you can see here and I also take the short description that pocket provides and then for the rest it really doesn't matter for our purposes so I'm going to create this card. We're going to retest this, send test to Trello. And this will create a card at the bottom of my inbox column, which you can see here. So it takes the titles, the article's title, puts it in the title of the card, brief URL, and brief description. And then I can move it around as I'm reading it or that I'm interested. And this tracks the content that I enjoy online. So what I've been doing is maybe two, three times a week, I'll dedicate an hour to going through all of these articles. So hope you enjoyed that automation. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be doing these more often now. Cheers.